Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a very exciting review for you. I know I'm really late to the game but it's better late than never and it's for Huda Beauty's 3D highlighter palette. Now I have been waiting for this to come to the UK forever and then when it did it sold out so instantly which is not surprising but on a recent trip to Dubai I managed to get my hands on one. There has been tons of hype over this on YouTube and Instagram and so the palette I have today is the Golden Sands edition. I know that there's another one for lighter skin and she's just released a new one so I thought I better hurry up and bring this one out just so you guys can test for yourself. So this Golden Sands palette is absolutely beautiful. I just love the sleek packaging and she looks absolutely gorgeous on the front and you can just see that 3D highlight on there, on her cheekbones, eyelids and lips and nose. It just looks gorgeous. Oh, it's the packaging feels very sturdy and high quality as well. You can tell I've already had a play around with it. Um, and these are the colours inside and it has instructions on the top so you know exactly how to use this palette. So I actually really appreciate the step-by-step -step guide on top of here. This is very daunting if it's some if you're somebody who doesn't really know how to highlight properly. Um, you all see those Instagrammers um, and massive beauty YouTubers that just have their makeup like on point all the time, and I never know really how to make my makeup look like theirs look so flawless and like just amazing. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my god, how do I use this correctly? How do I use it to its full potential and get that 3D highlight pop? So it has on here exactly how you can use them. So here are all the shades. Uh, this hopefully will show its true representation. And on their own, they don't actually seem to be like anything wow. Um, but obviously you're meant to use all four of these together. So the first one that I have here is more of a cream consistency and that is called Fiji. Next to that, it's more of a pearl sheen and that is called Seashells. Next to that is more of a bronzy highlight called T80. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm so bad at pronouncing things. And then this pinky shade is called Zanzibar. So it looks really, really pretty. And there's a technique to it to get that Huda Beauty 3D highlight effect. So let's get started. So I currently don't have any highlighter on, although I'm looking at my viewfinder and I do look very glowy, but I think my primer has like illuminating properties. So that's why I'm looking quite luminous, but I'm sure this will still work. Now I was looking at a few tutorials and Huda herself only just used the one brush. So to apply the highlight, I'm going to be using these wonderful new brushes that I got from Nail Zinc. They look gorgeous and they specialise in powder application. Um, so yeah, and this is their powder blue. It looks gorgeous. They remind me of the Kristen Louboutin kind of brand like packaging because they kind of got like a stiletto tip. So Huda Beauty only used one brush for the whole application and I'll be taking this first step which is Fiji and I just clip up my hair. Oh, there we go. So it says for applying Fiji, apply Fiji as a base to smooth skin and amplifying light reflecting pearls. So this is gonna be the base. So I'm just gonna pop this where I would normally put my normal highlight. I mean, it's nothing well, but we'll carry on. And you can probably see, even though my skin is luminous on this side, you can tell the difference with that highlighter. And now, so the second shade, which will be seashells, is dab seashells from cheek to temple to set and bring out pop. Again, using this same brush, I'm just gonna Take this and just go over basically everywhere we did that highlighter. Just check that mirror 
Wow. I don't know if you're getting this, but it's like got such a three dimensional look about it already. You can see. I love the gold colour, it is gorgeous. Oh, the third step is to take this brown shade and we're gonna use it to um, apply under the cheekbones and add dimension and shape. So, I would probably, so where we've just put that highlight, we have to just do it slightly underneath. Which is there. And just put it into the hairline as well. And then the final shade is the pink shade called Zanzibar. And they recommend to sweep Zanzibar on the apples of your cheekbones for a healthy glow. so you guys can see as well the pop on so this is the base coat this is Fiji and then I'm just gonna pop seashells on top see that glow but you can see that see how the difference Wow, can you, like, again, that's not even using the other two shades. It's like holographic, and this is not, I mean, I've moisturized so my skin is quite supple and soft, but you got the wow, look at that highlight, and then it's just very dull. So, just in case you guys wanted to see it on other places, so let me tell you more about the product so I felt like it glided on so easily and effortlessly and I do feel like it's not going to wear off I think it's because we used a cream base and then we set it with the powder so you have that kind of like a double duty highlight wear I really like the application and I really like how it's turned out like my skin is so glowy and like the colors that I have on my face right now I'm just so iridescent and so glowy I just absolutely love it like it does it is an Instagram trendy kind of makeup but you get the, that effect so when I was saying about whether I think it's worth it or if the hype around this is worth it honestly Yes, I do, because you get a lot for your money in here. Like, you get a lot of product. I know that there's loads of brands out there where you get the most tiniest amount. And I love the packaging. I love that how it mag like it has a magnetic shutter, if you can hear that. Um, so that's it. It's not going to, for it to open up a lot, you really have to, like, pull it open. So this was in your makeup bag or whatever. I mean, not to say that it won't open, I'm just saying it's gonna, it does, it's not like a flappy lid, as you can see. I love the gold trim, I do love the packaging, I definitely feel like this is one to keep in your makeup bag and everyone's gonna be super impressed with it. Um, and I just think that the colours work with so many skin tones. So I know that there's a fairer one for blondes because she's wearing a blonde wig in that one. And this one is more for dark haired girls. But I think this would work even for blondes. Um, so as a makeup artist, you can have this in your kit and use it on anybody. The colours are really pigmented. My face is more sculpted. And I honestly like just glow wing. Um, so if you're somebody who really wants to have that professional insta makeup look then I highly recommend trying to get your hands on one of these so yeah basically it is worth the hype guys uh, really love this palette highly recommend grabbing it I can't wait for new releases of Huda Beauty Huda is just doing amazing things right now and I love that she's like an Arabic girl just doing her thing and she's just totally like I'm mesmerized by her Thank you so much guys for watching this video, hope you liked it, let me know what else you'd want to see.